Hello everyone, how are you all? I hope that you are doing great, amazing and awesome. In today's episode, we are going to cover one more book and one more one of the really, really, I loved this book and um, this book is this one, Aristotle and Dante Dive into the Waters of the World and it is written by Benjamin Alar Science and this particular book is a um, sequel of one of the book that I have already covered. So without any further ado, let's get started. So this particular book, um, I will just give first some introduction to this one. Uh, if you have already watched my previous episode, I think you should cover the book which um, of which this particular book is a sequel. So I will tell the first book was Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe and this book is Aristotle and Dante dive into the waters of the world. So as the name suggests in the first episode was the story of how Ari and Dante meet and uh, yes uh, how both of them meet and um, what how their story uh, proceeds forward of their friendship. And uh, in this particular book, there gets even more character uh, involved uh, into the book. So in the first episode, it was mainly focused upon the two characters, Aristotle and Dante. And um, now even more characters gets um, focus of the story. And um, so, yeah, so it is a story about those two boys, Aristotle and Dante, how they meet, how they become friends, how they um love and uh, how they interact with each other how how they uh, change some of the views of each other um about the world their behavior and um basically uh, in first book it was covered that uh, they discovered the secrets of the universe and in second book it is covered as they dive even deep into the emotions and secrets and what the universe um, holds uh, in short so they dive even more deeper in the universe so i will talk some of the one, some of the favorite lines in this book as always and i'm recording this video after a little bit long time so uh, i'm a little bit not um, used to speaking to the camera so pardon me for that so some of the really favorite lines, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you those lines. Everywhere I turned, everywhere I went, everybody had something to say about love. Mothers, fathers, teachers, singers, musicians, poets, writers, friends. It was like the air. It was like the ocean. It was like the sun. It was like the leaves on a tree in summer. It was like the rain that broke the drought. It was the soft sound of the water flowing through the stream. And it was the sound of crashing waves against the shore in the storm. Love was why we fought all our battles. Love was what we lived and died for. Love was what we dreamed as we slept. So some of these end lines I really love and uh, those are these lines are Love was why we fought out all our battles. Love was so all the battles that we fought out it, they, those were for love. So maybe love for the country, love for some person, love for some society and love for something uh, and we fought our battles for love so it is such a contradictory statement but uh, yeah I really love the statement love was why we fought out battles love was what we lived and died for love was what we dreamed as we slept love was the air we wanted to breathe in pen we woke the green sorry love was the air we wanted to breathe in when we woke to greet the day love was a touch you carried to lead you out of darkness 
love took you out of exile and carried you to a country called belonging so these lines also i really really liked then uh, even these were the introductory lines and uh, there were some more introductory lines in uh, some of the pages of introduction i'm already home i'm with you that made me smile and uh, this sentence that uh, it is uh, maybe it is such a little bit cliche sentence but i really liked it i'm already home i'm with you okay so there are some more lines i didn't want to be ashamed and yet the word shame was still a word loitering in my body it was a word clung to me a word that didn't leave easily so uh, this is about um, when uh, one of the uh, one of that boy um, uh, feels love and he uh, do not understand how to hold that uh, means that thought of love means um because um it is such a uh, to express that he loves and um, for a society if his particular love love is shameful then in that case how to handle his particular thoughts that is very difficult in uh, to if if we are loving something but um, society doesn't accept that particular love then in that case um, we also kind of start feeling shame about uh, why we are loving this particular thing so uh, so this particular thought of shame is such a common thing across all of us and um, so these thoughts of even love was well also expressed and explored in this book so i didn't want to be ashamed and yet so even though i don't want to be ashamed still i feel the uh, feeling of shame and uh, it is such a even an introspection it is kind of a versus why i feel so yeah even um, i want to tell even more about this book then it will be um, it is, the book is um, spoken from one point's perspective and that is ari ari is narrating the story so and there are even conversations in the book uh, told and uh, but point of view is of adis in most of the things so yeah he is even writing diary and there are some pages what he write down and how he thinks about everything and how he feels about everything so one day you going to fill these pages with words that come from you i have a feeling that you will have a long relationship with words you who knows they might even save you they thought you were just an animal they could kick around and even kill but i think it was them they were the animals when will we all get to be human dante so um these particular lines uh, so um in this book there are even uh, covered some of the things such as violence and uh, how uh, one part of society uh, rejects and dejects or um, a little part of um, society that are maybe they which they do not belong to and they do not understand and um, they do they do not understand and they do not want want to understand so because uh, not understanding because they are already established part of the society so uh, understanding other uh, some other uh, uh, type of uh, society may um, may feel them jeopardized or um, insecure uh, yeah mostly insecure about themselves so that is why they do not want to understand that particular uh, part of a society and that is why uh, they even uh, show violence to uh, exterminate that part of society not only exterminate but also to give more pain and 
push them even more downwards that part of a society so yeah there uh, are some points covered about the violence and um, how a p- one part of a society ignores another point of a po- another part of a society even though uh, you know at a greater extent both are uh, part of a whole same thing the, the same thing yeah, human and still these things happen i used to live in a world that was made up of the things i thought i didn't know how small the world was i was suffocating in my own thoughts i was like living in a world of make believe and the world i lived now was getting bigger and bigger so as the name suggest uh, of this book that they dive into the waters of the world so uh this is again thoughts of ari uh, and he's trying to say that the world i before used to live in uh, was a very small world and um of my own thoughts and the world was made up of my thoughts so this particular thing is interesting that um the world that make we make in our head is actually made up of our thoughts and uh yeah even in a one day we go through so many thoughts in even a one day one minute and every minute we are producing thoughts and thoughts and thoughts and um what we um think of a world that is uh, is most of the times is actually a thing called as a perceiving and how we perceive um, the reality so most of the people if uh, we ask them what how their world is and what it consists of then it will um it will be consisting of so many different answers because everyone's point of view uh, is a different point of view of perception so what he is trying to say is that the world i lived in before was a very very small world and now it is getting bigger and bigger because um, and also it was i was living in a world of make believe that i will produce some thoughts and i will live in that thoughts so uh, without even trying to explore what the reality is uh, yeah this is one thing is important that without even trying to explore explore without even trying to explore uh, what the reality is and i will just make out my own thoughts and um live in my own thoughts so so what that is what he is trying to say and uh, now my world is getting bigger and bigger okay <laughs> yeah uh, okay so actually this book was a quite big book i mean uh, let me see how many pages were there in the book almost i guess uh, yeah around more than 500 pages so there were so many interesting lines and so many interesting thoughts in the book that i may not be even be able to cover in just a one episode yet i'm trying to cover what i really loved and uh, in the book you get used to not talking you get used to the silence it's hard you know to break silence that becomes a part of how you see yourself silence becomes a way of living so i think that is self explanatory and beautiful lines and there were not any words for what was happening and even though words are words were important they were not everything a lot of things happened outside the world of words so yeah it, it is talking about the words and um uh, words uh, will not always be able to cover up what is important not always not always so uh, and there were a lot of things and sometimes words words are um uh because we are not so skilled and everything doesn't have words to explain uh, we sometimes fall short of words and uh, so we have to take hold of some other thing to explain that thing such as art or something like that uh, visuals or mm, yeah so words uh, sometimes uh, so even though words are very important words are very very important still sometimes um, there is something even bigger than words so that is what is trying to say 
ओके देर इज अ वॉइस इन द यूनिवर्स दैट होल्ड्स द ट्रूथ ऑफ ऑल दोज हु वॉक द अर्थ आई बिलीव दैट वी आर बॉर्न फॉर रीजन्स वी डू नॉट अंडरस्टैंड एंड इट इज अप टू अस टू डिस्कवर दोज रीजन्स दैट इज योर ओनली टास्क इफ यू आर ब्रेव इनफ टू सिट एंड लिसन टू द वॉइस ऑफ द यूनिवर्स इन द साइलेंस दैट लिवस विद इन यू then you will always know what matters and you will know too that you matter more to the universe than you will ever know so these are really amazing lines okay i'm going to talk once again and i'm not going to explain much there is a voice in the universe that holds the truth of all those who walk the earth I believe that we are born for reasons we do not understand and it is up to us to discover those reasons that is your only task if you are brave enough to sit and listen to the voice of the universe in the silence that lives within you then you will always know what matters and you will know too that you matter more to the universe than you will ever know there are even some more lines that i really loved about this book and i'm going to go going to grow to go through them and i thought how life was like the weather it could change and how dante had moods that were as pure as a blue sky and sometimes they were dark like a storm and that maybe in some ways he was just like me and maybe that wasn't such a good thing but maybe it wasn't such a bad thing either people were complicated i was complicated dante he was complicated too people they were included in the mysteries of the universe what mattered is that he was original and he was beautiful and human and real and i loved him and i didn't think anything would ever change that so these are some of the lines that um how he discovers that um his uh, friend is uh, even uh, same as him that that he has some flaws insecurities etc and complications yet how he says these things are really beautiful uh, people are complicated they were included in the mysteries of the universe so uh, so these complications inside the people were included in the mysteries of the universe and uh, uh, the complication in people that's uh, that is something that makes them even mysterious and we try to explore that and it doesn't mean it is a bad thing uh, the complications Th- those are just mysterious and those are even more attractive that is what he is trying to say and all people have some or other mysteries lying in between them okay um yeah i'm i'm going to i'm going to read some more lines everywhere tears tears of sorrow of grief of disbelief rivers streams and where did tears come from and why did people laugh and cry and feel pain and why did emotions come with having a mind and a body it was all such a mystery unsolvable and cruel with a little kindness thrown into the mix people sorry pain and joy and anger and life and death everything present all at once everything reflected in the faces of people in this room people i had come to love even as i didn't understand love at all yeah there are a lot of lines in this book because this book is uh, so much full of thoughts
happiness sorrow emotions were fickle things sadness joy anger love how did the universe think to invent emotions and insert them into human beings my father i suppose would call them gifts but maybe our emotions were part of the problem maybe our love would save us or maybe our hate would destroy the earth and everybody in it so here are some of the lines which are over here which i really liked and how did the universe think to invent emotions and insert them into human beings so that is such a such a beautiful lines to say we invent reasons to fight wars because war is what we know and we make those wars into heroic marches towards peace when there is nothing heroic about war i have refrained from embracing for too long now it is time to embrace my time for silence has passed how it is my time now it is my time to speak i have had my time to weep now it is my time to laugh my time to hate has passed and now it is my time to love everyone has stories to tell my dad had them my mom had them and i had them stories were living inside us i think we were born to tell stories after we died our stories would survive maybe it was our stories that fed the universe the energy it needed to keep on giving life maybe we were meant to do on this earth was to keep on telling stories our stories and the stories of the people we loved so this particular lines are really really like over here and um, that our stories were living inside us i think we were born to tell stories after we died our stories would survive maybe it was our stories that fed the universe the energy it needed to keep on giving life okay there are uh, some of the lines which i really like in the book and uh, those lines some of the lines are some of the stories even are really uh, fun fun funny and uh, like a little joke and um, and still it holds so much of meaning and there are some of the lines like this there was something about girls that guys didn't have and would never have they were amazing maybe one day instead of always having to prove they were real men guys would study women's behavior and start acting a little like them now that would be awesome yeah so uh, these lines i really really love because um uh when i observe the world nowadays um what is called as a feminine and um try to said uh, to more feminine fe- um uh women empowerment i don't want to talk about feminine feminine i think women empowerment is that um, women working everywhere women doing it all women having it all and um all the power and uh, about women's powers and uh, but in actual uh, what it is taught is that to uh, have women to more achievements and um, more uh, power and actually these things are um, uh, i do not know how to actually make this particular thing understand that um, uh, to achievements and powers uh, are actually uh, masculine traits so masculine and feminine are two things are not uh, actually related to gender those are the qualities just qualities and it is um, 
it doesn't mean gender actually masculine and feminine so um the things that comes as a qualities as um achievements and power and uh, uh, going forward that a uh, thing and that is called as a masculine thing and feminine thing is more uh, like sustainability caring and these things so uh, compassion etc so um so uh, what is called as a woman empowerment is to uh, tell women that to have masculine qualities but actually uh, on the other hand uh, no male uh, actually very less male try to have a uh, feminine quality inside them so this this is a little joke that uh, is uh, i feel over here that um, uh, instead of having to prove that they were real men guys would uh, actually study women's behavior because women women's behavior have a inherent feminine qualities inside it such as a caring and uh, caring nurturing and these things and will try to be more like them so that would be awesome so i think women's empowerment is not only uh, 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 has to be about achievements uh, making women have more achievements etc but it should also um, be about uh, balanceism that uh, that is uh, every person having both qualities of trying to have both qualities of uh, masculine and feminine both and uh, even respecting both qualities so Okay so since this book is very big i'm just going to end uh, this book uh, favorite lines uh, by saying two of my favorite lines in the end because i don't like to give away the book to you so there are even so many lines which i really loved but um, i don't think it is right to say those lines so here are these two lines the first is this one the living were connected to the dead the dead were connected to the living and the living and the dead were all connected to the universe so this very interesting thought the living were connected to the dead and the dead were connected to the living and the living and the dead were all connected to the universe and this is the second line I was also learning that loving someone was different from falling in love with them. So this is a um, very short and some meaningful sentence actually it is that loving someone that actually loving someone was different from falling in love with them. So uh, falling in love is a start of process of something. but uh, loving someone uh, is something feels that feels like eternal so yeah so these are all my favorite lines so some of my favorite lines so these were uh, some of the lines that i really really loved in this book and this book actually i um, this is really i really loved this book because for the reason is that um, this particular book has so many thoughts in it and um, thoughts of exploration exploration of world that uh, we live in and because of these exploration of thoughts i really like this book uh, uh, talking about this book there are so many things i loved about this book but i want to tell a little bit few things i did not like about this book and those are um it some of the things are too much extreme as per uh, my thinking point of view and uh, too dreamy uh, to uh, to see uh, how the things were working in the book because um in front of the book how he accepted uh, his family and how he explored the journey of acceptance of the things around him or for me those are little bit too unrealistic i thought there would have been more struggle uh, if for any other teenager there would have been even more struggle towards the acceptance and for me this um, the journey of acceptance for me i felt it 
was a little bit too unrealistic and uh, too calm towards it means um, he just accepted things too easily and uh, he struggled really less towards them but um, apart from that means what i have to say is that there was lot of struggle that was internal but um, there would have been actually a lot of struggle that should have been external struggle as well because everyone was too good and good person uh, uh, the story uh, and book in the book all the characters were um, too good and uh, their goodness were explored a lot but um, uh, the external characteristics or external situations which could have been uh, bad and really worst and um, those were not much focused so often and so that is why it feels um, a book to a little bit unrealistic and um, if we talk about exploring the journey of the universe and diving deep then there would have been really really lot of bad situations and um, the badness also should have been focused a little bit uh, in more depth that is what i felt yeah that that was there but should have been explored in more depth and with the intensity i didn't feel that intensity of badness that much in the book intensity of goodness was a uh, lot of there so that is why so thank you so much for uh, hearing to my views and hearing to my favorite lines and i wish that you also would uh, read all of these books that i'm talking about because um those are really so beautiful books with really great story lines and a uh, really amazing plot and amazing uh, amazing uh, literature those books with so much thoughts especially thank you so much bye bye take care have a very happy morning afternoon evening or night wherever you are in this world see you again bye bye take care thank you